everybody, it's your girl, Storytelling Miss Ta on Death. And it's your girl, Psychic Synonymous, still anonymous. And together we are your favorite besties. So, hi guys, I hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, and or evening whenever you guys are tuned in on deck with us, mm-hmm. right? Um, peace and blessings and all that good love, too. Anonymous, what do we have on deck today? All right. <laughs> this is an interesting one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Roommates with quote unquote benefits attempt threesome that ends in bloody fight and arrest. <laughs> well, uh, uh, the title alone tells me this never should have happened. You know how they say, how don't try happen? this at home? <laughs> yeah, literally. This is a don't try this at home literally. situation. Literally. Don't try this at home. What in the love? Yeah, right. And how the hell to become roommates with benefits? Oh, good God. Nate, that more than just, it's just not. Certain things are just not a good idea. Just because your friends are doing it, just because you heard about other people doing it, don't mean it's the right move for you. You got okay? people. You need a certain thing. level of maturity. You got, that's you got a lot of people walking around with these sexual demons. <laughs> 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 I got to have you. Y'all remember that? Mm-hmm. People walking around with a whole bunch of uh, energy. They got the energy for they it. They got the energy. People okay. don't know about that, uh, the, you know, that little celibacy card. People don't want to uh, hold on to that. You know, kind of hold it for a minute to, you know. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Okay. It said, what was supposed to be a night of sexual fantasy fulfillments ended in a bloody brawl and an arrest in a small South Carolina town. (laughs) South Carolina. South Carolina knows how to party. (laughs) No, they don't. But anyway. Y'all on the map. (laughs) South Carolina. I didn't know about y'all before. Y'all on the map now. According to reports, Michael Charles and Michelle Fleming, both 47 years old, are roommates with... (laughs) Okay, you know spring chickens. Y'all ain't no bitch. are roommates with quote unquote benefits oh, and they decided to take their exploits to another level by including another man oh, Brian Aldi 40 years old and in their oh, yeah. mm-hmm. well Brian Alden anyways 40 years old in their nighttime fun at their home in Duncan a town in Spartan Spartanburg County Fleming told investigators that Charles wanted to fulfill a sexual fantasy of his, so he called up Alden to hang out and possibly have a threesome with him and Fleming. Unfortunately, the night took a turn for the worse for the trio. What happened? After the three of them had sex, Charles. Oh, so they did. Have so sex they did though. that part. So that part. They got that out the way. Everything was all good, all cool there, right? <laughs> well, we don't really know. The fight could happen because somebody's performance wasn't up to snuff. Let's read on. We okay. don't know. It says after the three of them had sex, Charles started to feel weird about Alden's presence and asked the man to leave. When he did leave initially, he returned shortly after and demanded to be let back in the home. Oh. Fleming told, Ch- Fleming told Charles to let him back in for round two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the three attempted to have intercourse yet again. So they, so they did let him back they in. They let him back on in. Oh, wow. Maybe his performance pretty good at all, but anyway. He probably should have just left the drugs alone. <laughs> that's, that's key. That's all I drugs think drugs ding, alone. ding, ding. <laughs> Leave the substance alone. Probably it says, time. this time, however, Alden wasn't able to perform. So a frustrated Charles asked him to leave again, okay? According to officers who responded to a call after 2 a.m., things quickly escalated into a physical altercation from there. You know, this is ridiculous. The fight spilled out into the backyard, and during the scuffle, Charles asked... Wait, 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 (laughs) wait, wait, wait. According to officers who responded to a call after 2 a.m., things quickly escalated into a physical altercation from there. The fight spilled out into the backyard, and during... The scuffle, this thing got so many dogs on the ass, it pop up pain. And during the scuffle, Charles suffered a head laceration. Who done cut Charles on the damn head? Was Charles the 40 year old? He was the 47 year old. Oh, okay. Okay, he was the one who's initially the head head with a bottle? Yeah, a bloody nose and an eye that was swollen shut. Ooh, damn, he put hammers on him. He said, Who you think you're wearing a bottle, Jay? Okay. Everybody in their 40s, so really, but anyways, he nodded about. However, Alden received the worst of it. Hold on. Whoa. So 47. He said, he, I got the pause for you, youngster. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> he said, huh? got the pause he, said he had the pause for him. They said he received the worst of it. He had a head wound that required 12 stitches. Oh, Lord. After Charles hit him in the head with a stone. Oh, we're going back to the, 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 stone, the stone ages. He, he stoned him. Crazy. He hit him in he the head with a stone. He stoned the man. He 
said, by any means necessary. <laughs> you we gonna bring down your high by any means necessary. What you think you're talking about? Green giant? Oh, let me stop your ass. Alden was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment where he continued to complain of hand and wrist pain, suffered from his punching. Everybody sore after a fight, boom. Anyways, Alden ended up being arrested after his treatment on counts of assault and battery and trespassing, but was released on a personal recognizance bond. So he was all right. He was all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all heard about this. <laughs> this is crazy. You so, guys look at the comments. Y'all done heard these fools over here. They over here doing all the kind of sex and then turn them on when they were okay the first time. Something happened and it was good. So wait, you know what I'm saying? Maybe so well, he well, actually well, he didn't want his presence there after the job was so well, You know, we don't want you here no more. Guess what? He was probably intimidated. Was somebody getting too much attention? He probably was. Somebody's probably flexing their muscles. Yeah, uh, I was, was born to flex. Yeah, okay. you know, he probably, he probably got a little bit intimidated. In the morning. I'm, I'm like, like you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, he probably flexing. You don't know. So he said, basically, after that, okay, basically, sick and seeing you go and get up out of here. So he didn't want to leave, but after, you know, some convincing, he went ahead and left. But guess what he did? Alden circled the bridal back and said, hey, knock, knock, round two, what's up? Okay. And that door swung open, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, not the machine. That's what I'm talking about, not the machine. No, when he opened that round two, that, that door swung open. Okay. Can they we... let him back in. So you they know. let him through the back door. <laughs> yeah, that's where he was putting round two at. Yeah. The back door. Who knows? But they let him back in, honey. Well, everybody was willing participate. Yeah, they so anyways, let him back in, but this is a problem. When he couldn't, you know, he had all this bravado, what's it called, bravado, bravado, uh-huh. whatever. Talking about he walked that round too, but when he couldn't perform, oh, oh. It was, it was, what was it again? Unacceptable. It was about to be knuck and buck season. It was going to be consequences and repercussions. So they said, you done made us let you back in this house, you scared Charles bastard. got so many things. Stop with us, don't. He went back to biblical days. Stone him. <laughs> and then they hit him with stone. Stupid. So, you know, let that be a lesson. <laughs> let that be a lesson for all y'all who think about opening up Pandora's box. If you can't perform, you may be stoned. Well, exactly. It's so, out there. Put it like this. If your round Take one it. game is cool, but you ain't shit without round two. So, don't try to front you like, ain't, you know, you, ain't got you big man or big woman on the block. Don't, don't try it. So, based on what this story said, if you ain't got enough uh, two full rounds of Jeff, fuck, get it. <laughs> that you ain't got, eh? Don't be coming back in the, I was born to flex. <laughs> okay? The whole time, he was whispering in the air, I like more than sex. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make well, it, maybe if they wasn't so horny, just kind of let him rest. He was probably bluffing about the round two. He, he meant in the morning. Well, I think, but Charles didn't take it lightly. He got that stone in one of that house. Well, I think what happened is, you know, the drugs. I think drugs are playing a part here. <laughs> and so, alcohol. And, and you know, initially, you know, the lucky are both around the woods and around, 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 around the hardball. Like, shit, okay, my holler went down, so let me get back in with them crazy motherfuckers and get yeah. some more. He went on back in there. You know, tell him I was bored of flat. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor us at anchor.fm forward slash psychics dash anonymous come on over to anchor and press that sponsor button uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we love us because you love us and we love you right back yes. okay or if you like to take the intimate approach like a lot of our uh, um true ones have did we appreciate you we thank you and love you so much and, and you're still a true one even yes. if you haven't done it let me say that you are still a true one show up to the video our, our true ones that. are the ones who tune in you don't have to drop zero dollars and zero cents you you're a true in. one if you show up and, and, and tune in okay i don't care if you don't even comment you're a true one by being here okay so the other but place comment. for the intimate approach, but, but comment though, we want to reach comments. So um, the intimate approach, go to Cash App, put in the dollar sign, your favorite besties. And if you would like to send us show ideas or comment on any show that we have done, or just send us some love to keep us encouraged fan to keep mail. on going strong for you guys, fan mail, you can reach us at your favorite besties13 at gmail.com. That is perfect, okay? And let me just tell y'all, we really appreciate you guys being on deck, but I want y'all to like these comments up for real. Mm-hmm. Now, have you ever had a threesome? Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's time for the growing funky, okay? And then have you ever had a threesome going wrong, though? Keep and then real. have you had one going wrong where somebody just got all discombobulated? Or... I was I was looking at this story, so this one guy, he's famous, I can't, well, I won't do the whole this name, but anyways, he said that he, no, that wasn't a threesome he had. He said he, but he did say he had sex with... A person and the person he had sex with, they were so messed up that they threw up all over. Them. Oh, I so, saw that. I saw that. That yeah, was, was so gross. gross. Gross, gross, gross. I saw and that. That was meant what we call for. And too bad because it was good. 
it was yeah, amazing up yeah. until that point. Yeah. That's the way the story goes. That's y'all. the way the story goes. It was amazing, but I would have been done. Like, okay, I don't ever see that way again. Though. Yeah, it would have been a rap. That would have been so rap bad. city. But anyways, like the comments. Uh, let us get nosy. Y'all get nosy too in the comments with each other. Hey. What happened? What ha- happened? Right? Did you ever say it was so bad? I ain't gonna never do it again. <laughs> If so, uh, let us know. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for being on deck. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Until next time, you guys have been rocking with your favorite besties. Bye. Bye.